This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Upgrade your business with Shopify, home of the number one checkout on the planet. Shop Pay boosts conversions up to 50%, meaning fewer carts going abandoned and more sales going cha-ching. So if you're into growing your business, get a commerce platform that's ready to sell wherever your customers are. Visit Shopify.com to upgrade your selling today. It's always springtime in Hawaii. With a rainbow of colors continually in bloom, visitors can appreciate the beauty of these islands anytime. And there's something else they can enjoy too. Pineapple. The flavor of Hawaii. King Kamehameha welcomes visitors to Honolulu, to Diamond Head, and Waikiki Beach to enjoy the sun, the surf, and the sand. From the ashes of the Lilo and Stitch the series, it's Scraping the Vault. It wasn't funny, but it's relevant. That's it's true. I'm, uh, I'm Jimmy. One of your hosts, the voice you just heard, was Audrey, another one of Hello. your hosts. Oh, I was supposed I... to wait for the ching. Oh. And there's Dan, one Hi, of the other I'm here hosts. Now. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's too much smoke. Scraping Dad. the vault. <laughs> oh, sorry. Because <laughs> of the poofing. Yeah. Oh, I should have said Aloha. 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 It's scraping aloha. the vault. Hello, cousins. I mean, aloha, uh, listener cousins. Yeah. Um, it wasn't funny, but no. we were going to say something about from the ashes of like the Mauna Loa fires in Kauai in 2022. But mm. I mean, that wouldn't have been funny either because there would have been tragedy involved. It's but way com- too soon for our Canadian time. listeners. Oh, that's true. Mm. Currently, and there's a wildfire. In I didn't mean to interrupt your math equation. I'm sorry. Well, oh, it's it's tragedy plus time equals comedy. And our and our uh, our Australian Einstein. listeners haven't even heard of that yet. Exactly. No, they're so far behind. <laughs> Bless their souls. Bless them. Have Wait, they? Aren't they ahead? No, I'm, we ahead. meet like culturally, we're, we're like fashion and culture. Oh, that's yeah. right, because they're thirty Remember, years behind us. Yes. Exactly. I don't think the first Lilo movie has hit their shores quite yet. But when it does, <laughs> wait for that. They're still, they're still watching the original one of Hawaii Five O. <laughs> <laughs> but Lilo and Stitch was, in fact, animated at Disney's Hollywood Studios mm, cool. nice. in Hawaii before, before Brother Bear, which was the last one that was filmed at or animated at his Hollywood Studios. It's relevant to the Supreme Resort. It's another podcast. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Never heard of yeah. it. So we're going to have a crossover <laughs> episode in July, Audrey. Are you aware oh, of this? I think we mentioned it in the chat and I'm on board. I think. Yeah, I don't Eric know. What is it... coming on. We're going to yeah. watch, on opening day, we're going to watch The Haunted Mansion. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Not a straight-to-video Disney sequel, but a movie about a ride at and Disneyland. Po- and possibly may as well be. We'll see. Maybe. <laughs> um, we're thinking and hoping it's going to be better than the Eddie, Eddie Murphy joint. I don't if know if you that's saw that possible. one. If it's possible to be worse. Haven't seen it. To be better. So, you um, know, you're not messing much. No. Um... But yeah, so we're going to do a crossover in July with that. So you'll just have to buy your little movie ticket. And okay. Go see it early so we can record it and release it for July 30th or 31st. Let's, let's go. Mm-hmm. And then f- fun party after the movie or before. Naturally. Yes. Naturally. Uh, I will be in Southern California probably sometime in October. I'm going to take <laughs> – I'm going to go to the Boo Bash or the Boo Who to You Halloween Boo? the party. Oh, the, the Spook, Oogie Boogie? Oogie Boogie Bash. Oogie, so all, into that. You, mean, you mean Oogie Boogie. Oogie Boogie Bash. That's where, where you got confused. <laughs> so when I go you, to the Oogie Boogie Bash, I want to come see you. <laughs> where yeah, can your Jimmy it. Stans uh, track you down for autographs? Because I know there are a lot of mm-hmm. listeners of the show who have started a fan club just for you, Jimmy, and they want to know sure. where you're going to be so they can... It's- you Swarm. just go to www.go.disney.com.slash.go.slash.askjeeves.hg. That's right. Dot go dot slash dot ask Jeeves dot <laughs> Jimmy Tracker dot there you go. Com. It's like the Santa Tracker that NORAD does. Just oh, all cute. over the place. Yes. But um, yeah, uh, once once I know the date that we're going to Oogie Boogie, then <laughs> I will announce it on the way on the airwaves. And if you really 
uh, do care, then that's where I'll be. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So we watched Leroy and Stitch, which is the, uh, Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot we were going to talk about that piece of crap. Uh, yeah, we watched it. We have to it, talk and, about and the movie. Damn it. <laughs> and we have to talk about what you thought it was going to be, even though I did not think about that. And, um, we think it's the finale in the Lilo and Stitch series. God, I hope so. Of films and television. Oh, is my dog throwing up in my office? Flash oh. Hope. No. Talk amongst yourself. That means she loves you. Um, oh. So I thought... I, I, I was in this really nice place where I kind of forgot what these movies were like. The, Le- the Lilo and Stitchiverse specifically. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I was like, just pass. I don't usually passively watch these movies. Usually I have like, you know, a month or so and no more to like, remember what these are like. And I was like, oh, here we go. Uh, and this time I was just like, all right, I'm just going to watch this movie. And then within minute four, Five, I was like, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. This is not this isn't good. Um so yeah. it's not it's not so much what I thought it would be, it's just that I just forgot. I didn't know that it would be this. I think this is the fourth movie in the Lilo and Stitch series. Right? It was Lilo and Stitch, which I really liked. Yes, the first yes, is the it's best. an okay movie. Yeah. I liked it. I liked the music, I liked the animation, I liked the movie. And then there was Stitch, the movie, mm-hmm. which I forget what that's. It was like, that was what, like during what even Lilo and Stitch. In it? I don't know. And then there was Lilo and Stitch 2. Yeah. That, yeah Stitch's Great are, Escape. Oh, God. No, that's an, that's an attraction. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> and then there, and then Leroy and Stitch. Now, in between, there was Lilo and Stitch, Stitch the has series. A glitch. Stitch has a glitch. Thank you. There's Lilo and Stitch, the series which we did not watch or cover. Oh, God. This movie is the finale of Lilo and Stitch, the series. So if you didn't understand some of the things, that's why. Because I, Lilo and Stitch, the series, covered Lilo and Stitch freeing all of the other experiments, which mm-hmm. are in this movie, and putting them to work or whatever. That was what the series was about. I understood that part. There's a lot oh, more wow. that I didn't understand, though. And it's more just, you know, the usual stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, I've got a whole detailed synopsis to explain what happened in case right. it was hard for you to follow. <laughs> <laughs> Audrey, what do you think this piece of crap was going to be? Uh, I feel similarly to you where I was just like, I forgot how painful watching these movies are sometimes. Because um, <laughs> I similarly felt... And, Five minutes in, I was very annoyed. It could have been the movie or it could have been the fact that every single pen I tried to use to take notes wasn't working. (laughs) So I was like Mm. furiously drawing circles, trying to get my pen to work and also dealing with this like crappy looking animated film. Um, But uh, what I thought it was going to be, I was kind of just like thinking something ridiculous stitch moves to san francisco leroy is like a guy who oh. lives in san francisco or <laughs> <Just> some dude <laughs> some but, dude no, named no. Leroy. <laughs> but here's the thing leroy is like hiv positive like he's a little different or he's like why he's does he colorful. have to be hiv positive if he lives in san francisco Audrey? <laughs> because it's pride month and disney's all oh. about that oh, stuff like i'm you trying think to that- think <laughs> oh, oh, no. I know. The movie I know. changes depending on when you watch the movie. I shouldn't go here at all, but I guess I don't give an F. It's like, what about Ses- Sesame Street has an HIV positive puppet? So, like, why oh, really? can't? Yeah, they do. Uh, why can't? Le- Listener, why can't just, Leroy just... and Stitch have an HIV positive character uh, audrey keep You're going don't don't, don't 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 make me stop don't let me stop you <laughs> just for the listener <laughs> sitting there and going why isn't dan jumping in and doing what he normally does it's for our friendship that i'm not doing that <laughs> 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 and audrey you just keep going sit, 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 say what you have to say <laughs> i mean what's the lesson they're trying to learn at the end of it it's just like you can live a life a perfectly normal life, even give despite the hand that you're you're given. Like Stitch, for yeah. example, he was given a life by the doctor. You are an evil uh, monster, 
and Stitch learns to live with that. <laughs> like, I'm not like making our parents it. Are. <laughs> <laughs> unrelated to what you're and doing. like <laughs> leroy has a disease and he has to learn to live with it and he's living a beautiful life in san francisco mm-hmm. <laughs> recovered <laughs> good job that was a journey um, yeah i was uh, send your hate mail response. to <laughs> uh, eight five six hour ears oh, <laughs> Jason the, the director of this, <laughs> the, the the one of the directors of this movie is named Bob's. Bob's, and I had to check IMDb to make sure that wasn't a typo. It's Bob's. Wow, huh. Bob's Janaway or Ganaway. Anyway, huh. um, right. so I got a little snapshot of things that were happening in a very specific place in 2006. Sweet, uh, it's uh, here we go. So, oh yeah, uh, best-selling video games <laughs> worldwide in 2006. I haven't done video games yet, so here we go. Uh, number nine, tied for number nine, number nine, number nine for all you Beatles fans. Uh, oh, I like that. You, you want to guess that it's Madden? That is incorrect. Jimmy, do you want to take another guess? What one of the number nine games? Number nine games of 2006. Yep, there's three. Some, something with Mario. Uh, incorrect, but th- we're going to play this the way we play the wheel of uh, clickbaity nonsense. And I'm going to say that number one was actually new Super Mario Brothers. Number two nice. was Madden NFL 07. Grand no, Theft Auto. Uh, Grand Theft Auto is not on the list. Uh, Audrey, you're next. Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess or Wind Waker? Uh, I see no Legend of Zelda. I'm gonna Aww. burn the the ninth column. It's FIFA 07. Damn it! Time travel uh, and Need for Speed Carbon. Bioshock. For all you fans of global warming. Uh, and The Sims 2 Pets, which was a dumb <laughs> game. Uh, what did you guess, Audrey? Bioshock, but I don't think that came Bio- out in 2006. That's a later game. No Bioshock. For number eight, we have Animal Crossing Wild <gasps> World. Ooh. Uh, I had that yeah. game. Oh. That was all the rage during the Pando. Mm. Uh, number seven. Here, I'll tell you. I'll give you New the Horizons. Platform. For number seven. No, no New Horizons on here. For number no, seven, was, it was on anyway. the. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't really play fun games. Um, number seven, it was on Nintendo DS. Ooh. Um, Luigi's Mansion. Nah, it's more brain training. Audrey, this one's yours. <laughs> Number six, it was on PlayStation 2. Uh, PlayStation 2. I don't know. Pass. Fin- incorrect. That was Final Fantasy 12. Oh, cool. Um, I love Final Fantasy <laughs> stuff. Jimmy, number five, it was on Nintendo DS. What are you guessing? Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> Incorrect. Luigi's Mansion is on this list. It was Brain Age. Train Ooh. your brain in minutes a day. Oh, that's right. DS was that. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I played that game. This next one, Audrey, was multi platform. Multi platform. God, I don't know. Katamari Damacy. Uh, it was Pro Evolution Soccer 6. Good. And the last one I'm going to reveal because we already know the top two. Uh, number three, it's up to either of you, is on Nintendo DS. Brain Games 2. Pokemon? Good. Give me more. Pokemon. Pokemon. Snap? Collect them all. Pokemon Diamond Pearl. Okay. Oh, good job, Audrey. Thanks. And in 2006, Audrey was born. That's right. That's right. I uh, was born and then it was born great. again. No, <laughs> I was just born. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure we've traveler. mentioned when you were I, like how old you are on the show. And I, we don't need to bring it up, but I'm we, sure we've talked about we it. We had a period of time where Audrey and I were the same age. That's right. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Remember. So 2006, I guess I was 16, 15, 16. Huh. Mm-hmm. We did. That means you were born in 1990. Yes, sir. Good job. Thank you. That's correct. Nailed it. <laughs> and Leroy and Stitch was released direct to video. Mm-hmm. And uh, just to set the table, <laughs> millions uh, Leroy rejoice. and Stitch is a, two, <laughs> is a 2006 animated 
science fiction comedy television film produced by Walt Disney Television Animation. Go figure. Comedy. It was written by Bob's Ganaway and Jess Winfield. (laughs) The latter also served as producer alongside Igor Kait. Maybe Bob is actually two people with, and they're twins, uh, and they have maybe. very uncreative oh, parents. <laughs> <laughs> they're con- conjoined I, twins. There we go. Jeez. <laughs> Bob's. Hey, Bob's. Hey, Bob's. Get over here. May, may as well go uh, with it. <laughs> uh, well, you don't have a choice. Um, Ganaway and Tony Craig, uh, they directed it. Uh, it is the third and final sequel film we already mentioned of the 2002 animated feature Lilo and Stitch. So in four years, they made <laughs> four movies. Plus, God. you'd Lilo never guess. Stitch. Uh, it's TV also serving show. as the series finale to Lilo and Stitch, the series aforementioned. It also concluded the main community or continuity of the Lilo and Stitch franchise where Lilo Pele Kai, which mm-hmm. I think is the first time we heard her last name is a main character, and Hawaii is the main setting. It was the last Western-made work in the franchise, not including crossover appearances until the 2022 children's book, Agent Stitch, A Study in Slime, and is the franchise's last Western animated production to date. Wow. The film debuted on Disney Channel on June 23, 2006, and was also aired on Toon Disney on June 26, 2006. While the film received mixed reviews, not unlike this podcast episode, it was nominated for the 2007 (laughs) Golden Reel Award by the Motion Picture Sound Editors, which ultimately went to Disney Toon's direct-to-video film, The Fox and the Hound, to stay tuned to Scraping the Vault. What what, what is giving me preemptive butthurt about Fox and the Hound 2 is that I'm. it's probably going to work just well enough to make me cry. I'm going to feel stupid. Oh, I never Don't saw the first. That way. No, I'm not not because I'm not allowed to cry, but it's because it's a stupid movie and I'll feel stupid. Stupid. Uh, I but see, it won I an see. award. Stupid emotion. I'll start punching my eye and trying to get my tears back in. Get back in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I we don't have on. to do this. We can just talk about our day. No, we got to talk about the movie. I have, like, I have two pages of notes. It's not a lot. We'll make it quick, um, and we'll get into our day. So um, I turned it on this morning mm-hmm. and promptly opened up my phone and started playing one of those mindless games. You know, mm-hmm. you because I knew screens. I knew it was going to happen. You know what I mean? It's a very predictable sort of thing, and I didn't really care. Uh, towards the end. Uh, I don't know the Ohana and I don't know. It it did all right. It did all right. But anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. Mm. Okay. Here's the plot of yeah. Leroy and stitch mm-hmm. to, Oh wait, no Leroy and stitch <laughs> Lilo and stitch four. I should say with their mission to capture the, all the experiments and repurpose them on earth completed, which is what the series was about. I think, I think Lilo, I watched an stitch, episode or two. Jumba and Pleakley, by the way, all original cast. Mm-hmm. are honored as heroes. They probably all recorded all four of these movies in the same day. <laughs> it's possible. I mean, I'd buy it. You know? <laughs> it's impressive in that, like, Zoom wasn't a thing at the time. Exactly. Uh, so they're all honored as the heroes by the Galactic Alliance. Jumba is given the confiscated key to his laboratory again. Pleak Lee is the one-eyed guy with two tongues, is offered a post as chairman of Earth Studies at the Galactic Alliance Community College, GACC. <laughs> <laughs> and Stitch is made the captain of the Galactic Armada and commander of the newly commissioned, get ready for it, BRB 9000. Dan, what does BRB stand for? Be right back. In this movie? Uh, big Red Battleship? Big Red Battleship ding, ding, 9000. Ding. And the, Lilo the, is... This, 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 as this part of the movie is starting, mm-hmm. and, and I'm just thinking... If this isn't a dream sequence, this is going to be a horrible thing to sit through <laughs> because it should be a dream sequence. Mm-hmm. It should absolutely be a dream sequence. Ah. You know, we say this on all these movies when we're watching. It's like, oh, it's almost over, right? Mm. You know, at, at the point, and then you it, look at the time code and you're like, oh, no. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I always think, okay, 10 minutes of credits, 10 minutes of credits. That means I'm sorry, 50 minutes mm-hmm. left. Um, but at that point for me, I didn't look at the timestamp. I'm like, okay, so it's probably halfway over. And then I'm like, <laughs> it's called Leroy and Stitch and Leroy has not been introduced. Right. <laughs> so this God. is good. <laughs> we're right. in, we're in for a long haul. I took a break. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Lilo is made the Galactic Federation's ambassador to Earth to Earth and sole guardian of the experiments. The, you see the 625 experiments prior to Stitch, which yeah. she has made useful on the island of Kauai. So she I'm caught- sorry. I just – go ahead, Audrey. I was just going to make a Pokemon joke. You know, got to catch them all. She caught them all and gave them – So did all. Leroy. Meaningful work. Um, yeah. And I, I so this establishes <clears> – I'm building a case here. This establishes that the the galactic whatever and Earth have a relationship. Like the fact that aliens exist and visit Earth and do things is not secret anymore. It's just a thing that everyone has accepted. And not not being critical of that, it's just we've established that this is true. This feels pretty topical right now. The whole alien discussion. It's all over the... The 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 verses, the Facebook verse, the Insta verse, the Twitter verse. You know, aliens. What people are talking about aliens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, people storing uh, aliens in the in the bathroom or something? Is that? No, 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 no. Like there was some that, news that dropped in Florida that humor. like aliens landed. Wait a minute, news in Florida. Florida Forget man. it. It's all just yeah. a freaking hoax. <laughs> Back as you were. Back to your knitting. Florida man sees alien spaceship. I mean, so you're, I. You're, <sighs> Every time the news about aliens comes up, they're like, oh, what are they trying to distract us from? Um, so I'm generally suspicious of alien news stories. But, you know, it comes and goes. It fluctuates like, oh, it's a alien UFO heavy news week. Um, but, you know, it brings up interesting discussions with your friends, like the Fermi paradox and like the dark forest um, theory. And those are always fun to consider. So, like, yeah. how does that fit into this Lilo and Stitchiverse? Like... Well, it's an interesting question, Audrey. I don't know if it's in the zeitgeist per se, because I'm not paying attention, but mm. what is your, so people ask if you believe in ghosts, right? That's something that, that the paranormal or whatever, mm-hmm. but you, you don't like, do you believe in aliens? I don't think that's a, that's the right phrase. It's more like when and if we're going to make contact with. Right. Is that how you feel? Um. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think. I don't think it's a when because of the, uh, well, let me, let me restart. The universe is so massively large beyond our like human brains Mm -hmm. to understand. And there's a chance that there, there, because it's so big, there's absolutely a chance that there's life outside of human. Not even a chance. It's like a statistical guarantee. Yes. The problem is. I don't think we're on the same time frame. Like our, our human existence is going to end or started before we were in the right time frame to meet those other lives because yeah, because any just, potential life like ours, as we know it is so far away, they would have had to have started the, our way, you know, millennia ago. Yeah. Yeah. It just, it's not going to work what, out, which is Audrey, what's your birthday? Not, not the year. We already know it, but, uh, November 19th. Me too. Okay. Hold on. Scorpio. Yeah. Florida man, November 19th. Let's see. <laughs> okay, here we go. November 19th. Florida man arrested for having sex with miniature horse on multiple occasions, deputies say. As you do. It's November 19th, 2018. That's a fun game. If you haven't played at home, just Google Florida man and your birthday, and I guarantee there will be a Florida man story. Or just Post set your up a story news, in uh, the comments below. Uh, set up a Google <laughs> News alert for Florida Man, and on top of that, like I have had a lot of fun pretending that Florida Man is like Florida's superhero, and it's all one person. And these are it's like it's like a it's like a blotter of all Florida the Florida Man. It's all the things Florida Man did today, and in Florida, uh, it's all I'm heroic. Florida Man, the no, Florida I'm version Florida. of Phoenix Jones, the Seattleite <laughs> superhero. He takes his, Takes this flying fan boat everywhere. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay, so they have their whole like Wizard of Oz give them all their presence in the Galactic Federation. It felt right. And again, we, we've established we've established yes, that quite. aliens 
are accepted on Earth. Maybe not yet, but later in the movie, you see like the popcorn alien being like, hey, I I exist to give popcorn to people. That's mm-hmm. my life now. Um, <laughs> capitalism. Anyway. Um, they, <laughs> popcorn alien. They, uh, what a stupid alien. <laughs> well, there was I a know. rain cloud alien. Yeah. The, yeah. And yeah. They, their whole purpose is to, you know, serve us. Water crops. <laughs> so... We've established that, and it makes. I just want there. I just want to put that in just, the, the that has been established. The evidence. We don't know if um, if Earth has accepted it outside of the island of Kauai. Mm. Okay, fair <laughs> point. But uh, the the galaxy has in fact recognized Earth as a relevant part of the galaxy because there's a whole like school, a community college has been developed mm-hmm. around it. How do you write uh, so labor laws leave, for a storm cloud? <laughs> you, don't. you don't. It's an experiment. <laughs> can't for- There's only one. It can't form a union. That's right. Uh, before they leave, Lilo gives Jumba her favorite Elvis record, Pleakley a small rock to use as a paperweight. That will not come in handy later, I'm sure. None of these no, will. No. And stitch a necklace with Ku Tiki, mm-hmm. which doesn't come in handy later. Oh, it does come in handy it because does. she see she recognizes that's not Stitch because he doesn't have his necklace. That's and in the alternate version. Thinking. In the alternate version of this movie where that is a dream sequence, Lila mm. wakes up and turns to all of them and says, I just had you a dream. I just had you a dream of that time that we all were given these duties that we are now currently fulfilling because it's very meaningful to us. But I woke up right before the part where we said, we can all still do this together, right? Mm-hmm. And then the galactic leader rightfully said, oh, yeah, sure. Because sure. commute, tr- commute is clearly not an issue because you right. can mm. go from there, from here to Earth in like a second. So there's absolutely no reason for us to be a Plus part they have space for any of this. Zoom. Yeah. Space yeah. Zoom. There's, there's absolutely no reason for any of us to be a part for this. Uh, I would like to introduce uh, everybody to something that my therapist has introduced me to several, several times. That's called black and white thinking. Ooh. Ah. That's <laughs> It's you, you, you can't possibly have something in between these two things. It's like you either get the dream and abandon this thing, or you have your family and you can't have your dream. The movie. So you're suggesting that's a concept. Your therapist is not suggesting you live your life that way, but rather avoid living your life that way. I'm really not sure what she means by that. And I keep asking her. And then I start, I I, again, try to punch the tears back into my eyes. Mm. Yeah. (laughs) Is it like, it's maybe the definition of that, that she's like withholding it with, from you because you're not subscribed to her like other tier levels, you know, like if you pay $8 (laughs) a month. You're like, right. oh, that's, I'll tell you that's, what black and white thinking is. It's reserved for my patrons on Patreon. I'm on the public <laughs> tier of her Patreon. Damn it. <laughs> that's funny. You still get good content. It's just not that yeah, and extra it's like, special episode. It's like 45 days thinking. late because she, she's also a Sims content creator. <laughs> uh, in his ship, Gantu, who's the big uh, dolphin guy, right? Hmm has decided that since he failed to capture the experiments, except for 625, which is the yellow stitch that makes sandwiches. I don't remember that piece, but anyway. Oh, I I did. And I was like, oh, no. Yeah, this <laughs> yeah. guy. Same thing he, with, yeah, yeah. He will have to break Dr. Hamsterveal. Mm. Yeah, remember him? We're so mm, excited to have him back. Ugh. If you've ever watched Monty Python and the Holy Grail, You'll remember the French guy at the castle. That's this character. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're so I right. In your general direction, but more and German, I guess. I guess right. it's very French. Yeah, because the joke is the accent, right? It's yes. not the it's not the attitude or the the phrasing. It must be the accent because and yeah, yeah, it, because he's a little <laughs> hamster named Hamster Wheel, but it's not Hamster Wheel. It's Hamster Veal. Yeah, and he's, he's he needs to be helped at all times. He can't do anything on his own, but he's an evil genius that dominates everyone, including yeah. a massive whale guy that's 20 feet tall. What pissed me off about this movie is right off the bat, you have all of these characters who learned a lesson in the first three movies, which is, mm-hmm. oh, we really don't care about these material things. We care about our family. They immediately forget that Ohana. because they're Ohana. handed the keys to their new their new car he's handed his diploma like 
oh, here we are again. We're learning the same lesson again. So you just know, like, ah, I don't care about this movie at all. Because it's just, you're watching a bee run into the window, like, over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> well, so what What we didn't, I mean, Dan alluded to it, but but when they, so Stitch gets a big spaceship, the Jumba gets his evil layer back. Um, the one-eyed guy gets to teach at a community college about all things Earth. Mm-hmm. And they all go their separate ways. And Lilo's like, no, we, you're all going to do this in Kauai. And they're like, yeah, we are. And, and they're not happy. Anyway. Um, okay. So. Um, no, because they didn't do it. They gave they, it up. They gave it up to so go to Kauai they, again. To go, yeah. Yeah. Right. What but I'm proposing yeah. is that they could have very easily just said like, hey, we're still going to live in this house. Right. And we could just oh, do yeah. light do our speed thing. to the job. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. You know, while uh, evidently he does live on the ship. Right. Also, okay, how so, old how old is Lilo, and do we need to keep her the same age forever and ever? I thought and is the that same child thing. abuse? Uh, yeah, because <laughs> the events of all this stuff, we'd have to think about the timeline of the events. Now, in the series of the movies, it's four years, right? Uh, meaning that two thousand two to two thousand six. But how? What is the timeline of all of these events, including the series? It's got to be a couple of years. Well, don't least. they say like when they? are awarding their things, their merits. They say it took you three years to do it, but you got all of the animals. So Lilo either in the first That's movie is point. like, <laughs> like <laughs> she would have been extra young, but yeah, she doesn't mature at all, which I think is a disservice to well, she the doesn't characters. physically mature. I would say she emotionally matures very well. It would be mm. more interesting to see, the character's a little more grown up. Like then in, you got to design a new character design. And I know it's so work. exhausting. I mean, Holy, it's a brand. Leave well, the and, brand and alone. It's such a it's a lost opportunity for Lilo as a character, or even as someone writing for this character. Um, is like Lilo's one of her attributes, and I think positive qualities is she's a weird she's a weird kid, right? So her never growing up and becoming a more confident yet still weird, like older kid or teenager, I think really does her and the audience a disservice because, and I'm speaking mainly as someone who works in the education industry, probably where it's just like, (laughs) you know, probably you probably work in the industry or no, I mean, I'm probably (laughs) my, this is probably colored by that where it's just like, there are so few examples of like, okay, here's this really weird kid. We're going to keep them weird and they're going to mm-hmm. be fine. And everyone around them is going to learn to appreciate the weirdness. And yeah, maybe they'll, they'll need to adjust a little bit, but for the most part, we're going to say, okay, you can still be weird and you might need to kind of learn a few lessons, but you don't need to change the fact that you're weird. Mm-hmm. And we never uh, get there with this character. The redheaded uh, little mean girl. Um, she calls her weird weird low. Right. <laughs> right. It's a good nickname. Okay. Uh okay, so let's get through this. Uh Dr. Hamsfield <laughs> uh, so Gantu takes him out of prison. Uh he takes his two man space shuttle, leaving six two five alone, again the sandwich guy, and frees Hamsterville. While they enjoy what they are honored for, Jumba, Pleakley, Lilo, and Stitch begin to feel sad and devastated due to the being apart from each other and uh loneliness. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. After Jumba listens to a song on the Elvis record that he got from Stitch, will that come back as a plot device? I don't know. Um, Gantu and Hamsterveil burst into his lab, and Hamsterveil forces Jumba to create an evil twin brother of Stitch, Leroy. The montage of uh, uh, Elvis' sad song, the the whole music video, it's just like the mm-hmm. worst music video ever made. Mm-hmm. You could just fast forward that part or just listen to it outside of the movie. Dan, do you hate Elvis as much as you hate the Beatles or do you like Elvis? It's a good question. He's frozen. I have. Uh, oh, I guess that oh. was my Internet. Um, I have a new, a very nuanced take on Elvis. I, I, I think his early stuff is very interesting. Um He's certainly important in terms of like getting R and B popularized, and I appreciate mm. that. I find his his later career hilarious. Um, 
He's an interesting dude. Uh, I yeah, I I can't I can't work up really any hate for him. Okay, moving on. I mean, he introduced you to Monte Cristos, didn't he? Well, not personally. Ooh, oh. Monte Cristos. Uh, Stitch, having been assigned to capture recapture Hamsterville because of his new thing with his big spaceship, um, he arrives and after a fight, he is defeated when Pleakley appears in an inappropriate moment. Now I've glossed over a lot of stuff that happens, and mm-hmm. I don't write plot details like I used to. Well, yeah. You've changed. <laughs> I know, I have. I don't even know who you are anymore. <laughs> I don't fully understand why we need to re- release Dr. Hamster Wheel, except for us to have that character back. That's right. Okay. And Gantu needs something to do because, you know, he's still a bad guy. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, but there, there so ple- Bleakly, Pleakly? Pleakly. Yeah, Pleakly, or Tall Mike Wazowski. Um, he calls uh, Jumba, who's being forced to make experiment 628, I believe, mm. which is Stitch's twin, and Hamsterville wants to make him red. His and teeth are too yellow. Pleakly does call him on Space Zoom, and he's like, he's forced to tell him that he doesn't want to see him again, and Pleakley's devastated. And like, cut to the next scene. Pleakley's like, well, screw this. I'm never going to talk to him again. And then he shows up on yeah. the ship. Yeah. Well, and also Stitch is like, they try to, they, they lose an opportunity to do a Star Trek thing with the crew of the ship. Uh-huh. Uh, but whatever. That's fine. Uh, makes the movie shorter. Uh, but it's the crew is sh- of Stitch's ship is like shocked that he is the way he is. Mm-hmm. Like they're like, oh, he's he's crawling through the thing, and he's 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 wacky. It's like, yeah, that's Stitch. That's yeah. he's a known entity. We've established at the beginning. Everyone knows who Stitch. He's like probably kind of famous in this. Yeah. Like, and then they're like, oh, I can't believe our captain's like that. It's like, no, it's <laughs> Stitch. Yeah. I like that Pontu, uh, yeah. not Pontu. Uh, Pleakley. I like Jumba. that Pleakley showed up almost immediately. Cause yeah, because he was dead. It's in character. It's in character for him to be like, I'm really sad. I hate you. We'll never talk to you again. Oh, but here I am. I love you. Mm-hmm. Um, so that didn't bother me. I There was a moment where uh, uh, Lilo's older sister comes to talk to her in the hammock again. You know, that Tia tender career. moment. <laughs> and it's just yeah. like the most... The aloha spirit. It's like, oh no, mm-hmm. I feel like I'm on a the, plane flight to Hawaii and like this is being <laughs> talked to me by a stewardess or something. It was like, what? It felt really weird. And Lilo was talking to Scrump again. Scrump is completely ignored in the first movie. Like, or since the first Scrump movie. Scrump is a doll. I know, since but Scrump movie. has. Because he, she had Stitch. She had Stitch. So wouldn't it be interesting to see Scrump's side of the story? <laughs> it actually would be. It a 100% ragdoll. would be. God, like they're here, gonna make that movie. Dang it. Here's a villain. <laughs> here's a villain that they could have made use of uh, instead of you know bringing back Hamster Veal. Scrump is the villain. Scrump turns well, what up if Scrump to be the villain. Was an experiment the whole time. Oh my yeah. god. Scrump's yeah. the villain because she's been ignored. Yes, she's like ah. Oh, ever since this. Stitch comes around um, because like that feeling of 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 the new shiny thing is here. That's so relatable. You know, it's like the Toy Story thing. Exactly. Nobody's around. Scrump comes to life. Um, Lilo does, in fact, intimate that Scrump is sentient a little bit. But but what I wanted to get to, Audrey, was the first movie was about Ohana. Mm-hmm. Right, that was the running theme. Ohana means family. Family means never left me. This movie's running theme is the Aloha, Aloha spirit. <laughs> Aloha's like yeah. hello. You everybody. have to give Aloha in order to get Aloha. It's Easy karma. Come. Yeah, uh, yeah. But that's not. You what... know, you, it's like they say in business. You got you, you got to spend some Aloha to make some. Aloha. That's exactly right. I mean, <laughs> it's all interchangeable, Dan, and. At the end of the movie, Hamsterville says aloha, and then he's like, and by that I mean goodbye. <laughs> you can't. That was kind of funny. You can't, yeah. you can't make an aloha without breaking a couple of Some alohas. alohas. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Aloha wasn't the, built uh, in the day. 
That's right. <laughs> when in Aloha, do as the Alohas. Right. <laughs> and God created Aloha in six days. <laughs> yeah, I have in my notes, the Aloha you give. And then underneath I have written the circle of Aloha. <laughs> and Aloha in time saves nine. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, so in opportune time, Pleakley appears and a distracting stitch long enough for Le- Leroy to detain him in a capsule. Mm. Hamster Veal reveals his plans to clone an army of Leroy's to conquer the Galactic Alliance. Before leaving for Turo, which is, I guess, the planet where the Alliance is on, Hamster Veal locks Stitch, Jumba, and Pleakley into Pleakley's GACC, Galactic Alliance Community College, vehicle and sends the vessel into a black hole well and not, the vehicle let's not forget. is kind of funny it is funny like a the, little minivan yeah, yeah. <laughs> there are some good choices in these movies mm-hmm. um let's not forget too that pleakley was extremely excited about his new wardrobe he yeah. loved his new wardrobe he was excited to see it because what happened was they all uh, get disillusioned right so Jumbo's you know, his, he, his dreams come true he's back in his evil lair but he doesn't have his friend there to like show him his new that. experiments so yeah. he's sad for that. Uh, Bleakley's really excited about being the head of this community college because he wants to teach people about Earth. And they're like, no, 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 no. You're, you run the place. You don't teach. And <laughs> you, he's like, well, yeah. you can't just show up and teach a, a class for free because <laughs> we're too well funded as That's a school. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um, but it's galactic funded. So maybe. I guess so. Um, but yeah, he has a wardrobe. He has a new wardrobe. He's, he drives the community college van. And after he found out he can't teach, he was excited to see his wardrobe. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Yeah. So anyway, on Earth, Lilo decides to contact Stitch. Lilo realizes that the only intergalactic video phone available, Space Zoom, on the planet is in Gantu's ship. There, she finds 625 and asks to use the video phone. He's made a bunch of sandwiches, only to find it's not functional. Lilo then names 625 Ruben. Yeah. Mm-hmm. After he went through several iterations. Uh, I believe what was it like? Hero? No. Monty. It was, she Monte went through Cristo. A, that was Monty horrible. Monte Cristo. That's yeah. right, Elvis. Yeah. We also do. We, we we didn't mention the fact that all of these aliens have taken people's jobs. And that's true. <laughs> 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 um, and Ruben likes the fact that it's corned beef and coleslaw on rye, and he accepts the name. They took jobs that um, people didn't want anyway, like making yeah, like new watering land. gardens and stuff, lava traffic monster. lights. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Ruben thereafter consents to help Lilo. <laughs> That's right. Some of the oh, designs God. for these aliens are, these the are me- Hey, what's up? This is Asher from the law offices of Asher, Michaela, and CJ LLC. A scraping the vault's real and cool 10-year-old lawyer. It's come to our attention the content from this episode may have caused discomfort. For that, we sincerely apologize. Here's our course of action. The host will be subject to 500 hours of sensitivity training administered by our firm. We're committed to ensuring respectful and appropriate dialogue in all future episodes. Additionally, the hosts will be given mega cooties. This is not a decision we take lightly. It's a serious sanction, reflective of the gravity of the situation. We're acting swiftly and decisively to rectify the situation. Your understanding is appreciated. Now, let's take a short break and hear from one of our sponsors. Then we can return to the episode with the confidence that we're working hard to do better. Sincerely, Asher. The holidays are back at Starbucks and there's so much to share. With classics like caramel brulee latte, peppermint mocha, and chestnut praline latte, we're celebrating everyone's flavor of festivity. Order yours in the app. Once the video phone is fixed, because Ruben gave her some aloha, <laughs> uh, or Lo- Lulo gave him aloha, I don't remember. Is but aloha he's, like he's... a sauce on the sandwich? Now I'm confused. It's whatever. <laughs> it well Audrey, we've established aloha is everything. It's like Smurf. Oh, gotcha. Oh, Pass gotcha. me some of that Smurf sauce. Oh. <laughs> 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 Wait a uh, minute. No. I mean, you know, whatever. <laughs> Says Smurfette. Whatever you're into. Uh, hey, so, Papa what? Smurf could say that too. <laughs> it's 
true. Uh, video phones fixed. Lilo contacts the BRB 9000 where Leroy is impersonating <laughs> Stitch using shape shifting to disguise himself. But mm. the ruse fails when Lilo notices he is not wearing Stitch's necklace. Ooh, mm-hmm. another one of Lilo's gifts that is a plot device. Yes. And I think what what's being lost in this is how incredibly bad the comedy is in this. And mm. the score yeah, like and the animation. Mm. All yeah. of it is bad. But I was reminded of it, with the the jokes were very much like I don't know that a, a a person like this exists at every in every middle school theater department, but I imagine everyone has had some experience with this. Uh, Jimmy, do you remember Ken Kirkwood at El Robley? I remember the name. Couldn't yeah. pick him out of a lineup. Ken, uh, if you're he listening, was the, the theater How's it teacher. Going? Yeah, hey, yeah, Ken. It's a theater teacher, and what he would do yeah, I, I is like he would he would take scripts that already existed probably and were probably in the public domain and he would write parodies make them chock full of the worst joke i'm not even talking like self-aware worst jokes like Mm -hmm. bad bad jokes like remember that like at the time there was a there was there was a pace picante ad and there it was the New York City, and they were gonna they get a rope, you know, it's like that. And they reveal that one of the characters is from New York City in the play. They reveal one of the characters is in New York City, and the entire cast says New York get a City. Rope. And and then the main character turns that. to the to the audience like get a rope. That is the level of comedy. That's that, I mean, right? He's a sweet. He's a sweet dude. Oh, let's I look at Ken don't know if Kirkwood. he's still oh, alive. Oh, he's one of the writers of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not targeting him specifically. No. He's a he's a dude who is trying and is someone who works in the education industry now. I understand how hard that is. But like That was my first real exposure to theater and got me passionate about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um so like it's kind of that, or like I was reminded of like when as a kid, I almost I'm almost certain I mentioned this in the last Stitch movie, I would do puppet shows that I thought were really funny as like mm. a five or six year old. And I'm almost positive that my parents hated every moment of it. Aside from the like, Oh, look at our child doing something cute. Like I I'm I'm so sure that the actual content was just garbage. Um, hopefully I'm not continuing this trend into my adult life as I make <laughs> these shows, but <laughs> 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 Hamsterville then commands Leroy yeah. to go to Earth and capture all the other experiments <laughs> to destroy them. Lilo, realizing Stitch is in danger, asks Ruben to help in fixing Gantu's ship. As the GACC vehicle heads toward the black hole, Stitch escapes and frees the others. However, the navigational computer is locked on course for the black hole. When Jumba notes that they can disrupt the event horizon by throwing a small object into the black hole. Stitch takes Pleakley's rock that he, that Lilo gave him plot device and takes a bite out of it to make it the right weight and throws it into the black hole moments before they're sucked in. That's just how black Mm -hmm. holes work. Obviously. Yeah. Don't Don't get uh... spaghettified. Bring a rock. (laughs) So, yeah. Um, there's, so what, okay. In order for them to jump us like, okay, we need an object that yeah. will be this weight in order to, to disrupt event horizon. And so Bleakley's like, oh, I have this rock from Lilo and they put it on this thing. Was that a scale? Yeah. Was a scale. Okay. That's so because there's it was a built in scale. Point something. Yeah. yeah. And then we need, need to be to like, have one. just okay, like, cause it's uh, gone yeah. to's shoot. No, just like the doctor's spaceship had a record player obvious you know that's a good point uh I mean, it, that it, played it, like a cd it's effectively <laughs> yeah right yeah it is effectively just like in the documentary interstellar when matt mcconaughey <laughs> sends the other spaceship into the black hole mm. i mean science <laughs> <laughs> do you think that was inspired by this movie i hope so <laughs> christopher nolan so, is secretly a huge lilo and stitch that fan would be so <laughs> awesome Leroy. Yeah, so he throws this perfectly weighted rock <laughs> into the black hole, and that yeah. disrupts the event horizon. And they, oh, and they arrive at just the right place. <laughs> oh my god, um, we're not there yet, Dan. Spoilers. <laughs> 
On Earth, Leroy obtains Lilo's scrapbook of the experiments and quickly. Oh, okay, this is a funny one. Leroy's going through Stitch or er, Lilo's room, right? And he's trying to find what he's looking for. He doesn't know what it is he's looking for, but then he finds the log book and he's like, Oh, this has got to be it. This is the captain's mm-hmm. log or whatever. Yeah. And it happens to be a book of logs. Yeah. Like <laughs> that was funny. This one's a so like different tree logs. It was, it was dumb. I like it. I laughed it. Because yeah. Anyway. Also, um, it bothered just me. It's in my note. You go, go ahead. ahead. No, you, no, you go ahead. No, you go ahead. No, okay, I'll Jimmy, start. you go you go. <laughs> okay, so Audrey, <laughs> when Leroy started ripping the pictures, I got upset because I was like, "Lila worked so hard on that, and you're you're ruining her book." Anyway, go ahead, Dan. It's a good point, and that we it doesn't get addressed other than the only next time we see it is when she finishes her scrapbook, which, if you'll notice, the pages was only halfway into the book, but that's beside the point. Mm-hmm. It, just because if I don't say it, I'll regret not saying it, and it's in my notes. And you can just listener, go ahead and hit that fifteen second ahead button. Um, there no, are don't. a few notes of <laughs> uh, "Love Is a Song" in mm. this soundtrack. The song from "Love Is a Song." No, 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 no. It's a Disney song. It's from oh. one of those one of them Disney movies. Hey Google, what? Hey, Google. Oh, it's been 15 seconds. If you wanted to hear, go back 15 seconds. Put on your 3D glasses now for Google's response. (laughs) What Disney movie is Love is a Song from? Sleeping Beauty? I don't have any information about that. Well, a lot of good Google's doing. I don't think there's a song called Love is a Song. There is. Hold on. There's that one from uh, Singing in the Rain. No, no, is it Life oh, is a Song? Life is a Song. It, it's not, Love it's, is an open door. Is a, Love is also a battlefield. Yep, that's, right. that's what my... Love is like my, Aloha. <laughs> it's everything. Hey, well, this is a perfect place to put a... Hi, Aloha. Uh, you, we'll be right back after you, we, we'll find Aloha. out with what the Love answer. is a Song. Yeah. With the answer. And we'll see you later. Hello, friends. Asher here formerly of the now infamous Scraping the Vault podcast. But now I'm your advocate at Asher, Michaela, and CJ LLC. Did you feel disrespected by any part of this episode? Did the lack of sensitivity hit a nerve? I know it did mine. That's why I've switched sides and decided to take this opportunity to sue these bastards for gross misconduct of podcasting arts and malfeasance of the carriage of contractual implications. I'm here to amplify your voices and champion your rights. Together, we can stand up against this outrage. We're initiating a class action lawsuit. We're demanding not just millions, not just billions, but a bajillion dollars in damages. You deserve a podcast that doesn't insult the sensitivities and identities of its audience. You deserve a podcast whose jokes make sense and where the hosts don't laugh at their own jokes all the time like some kind of cackling witch with asthma. You deserve to live outside of a pocket reality created by the overactive imagination of a kid who thinks he's me but is actually some other kid. Furthermore, you deserve a more clear explanation of that. But most of all, you deserve a lawyer who can wield the powers of the law as well as double tap tap no take backs. And who is board certified in the administration of mega cooties. Join me, and let's make them pay, literally and figuratively. Reach out to Asher. Michaela and CJ LLC today at Shannon Elizabeth Smith Van 13 at Real and Cool. Geocities. Calm. Because in this fight, it's your feelings that matter most. Speaking of Love is a Song, uh, Love is a Song is from Bambi. Ah, okay, oh, all right. Got there. Oh, th- now we're back. We're it's back. from Bambi, everybody. Love is a Song. There were notes of that in this soundtrack. It was purely coincidental because there are only so many notes. Hold on. Oh yeah, totally. I mean, we've already spent way too much time on yeah, this. Yeah, we have. Hold on, there. All right, here it is. It's coming. I put my ear up to my mic like I would be able to hear better. <laughs> okay. It's like the dawn of something. Yeah, this part here. Uh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's that music is played in the parks. Yeah, Somewhere. it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a lost, uh, good song. Listen to Love of the Song, everybody. Okay. Um, 
Mm-hmm. Uh, so he obtains the scrapbook of the experiments and quickly captures all of them, even kidnapping kidnapping Lilo's rival, Myrtle Edmonds, since she is the owner of experiment D07, which looks like a dog. And gingers Gigi. are aliens. Well, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's a given. <laughs> Gigi, Lilo, and Ruben <laughs> arrive at Turo, but they are too late, for Hamsterville has taken over the galaxy, making the Grand Councilwoman his receptionist. I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah, she just, she, you she know just what? She like, rolled with whatever. it. This is she a good break. It's like, I'm you sorry, know, he's, in a, he's in a meeting. I mean, I'm just going to take this this demotion for what it is and do my job as best as I can. Uh, MVP. I mean, go, Government employee, you know, it's like, eh, whatever. Right. I don't love whatever. it. But. She probably gets the same salary. She I get before. Fridays off. That's I actually, don't give it. <laughs> but it's actually I, did, so true. Did you notice? I'm, and I'm saying this as a government employee. <laughs> did you notice, though, that the call that she got was from an actual hamster? What? Making wow. hamster noises. Yeah. Oh, God. It was hamster noises until I'm I don't sorry, remember he's in a that. Meeting. I just Why? watched the movie and I don't remember. <laughs> Um, we all notice different things. Um, so she's the, uh, receptionist and, uh, he orders Gantu to imprison the duo, but he was not giving very much aloha <laughs> because he decided to fire Gantu, you know, take your last paycheck and go. And anyway, so he decides to release, uh, but uh, he decides to release them after half through files him for not, or for his failure to capture any experiments over the last three years because Leroy was able to do it in several minutes. After a close call with several Leroy clones, they are trapped. All seems lost until the GACC vehicle suddenly appears, but not before the rock that stitched through hits one of the Leroys in the head. The, the aloha is what gives a, an aloha his power. It's That's an right. energy field created by all living things. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It it, because it Stitch has, aloha to get. That's right. Because Stitch has so much aloha, he was able to use the aloha to hit the thing on the head. I see my aloha is hole. bigger than yours. He has <laughs> so right. many alohas in his blood. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Midi alohas. <laughs> Uh, with no time to explain, Lilo, Ruben, and Gantu all climb in the he- and head for Earth. And now Gantu has to go in the backity back. I, yeah. I also want to share with you. This is the last note I have. I <laughs> oh wait, no, it's not. But it's um of your book, <laughs> you know, the book I made because I was watching it in a classroom. <laughs> um, I was so sure I, I had wrote this down and it was one of those, like it was a mic drop note where I'm just like, I'm going to write this note and I'm just going to be sure of it. And I was so, so positive. It was, she's going to turn hamster real good. And <laughs> so close. <laughs> so close. And so it was, close. It was again, one of those moments where I'm just like, that's, that would make this movie better. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> But yeah, it's just everybody a, else gets redeemed. This movie is determined to be bad. Yeah, <laughs> just like oh Hamster Wheel. Just like Hamster Wheel. Yeah. Just evil for the sake of evil. That's that's the, one of the problems with these movies. Is you know, nowadays <laughs> movies are becoming a little more nuanced. You know, think of the Marvel Cinematic Universe where people are evil for a reason. <laughs> it's the dark side of a low. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> he has <laughs> every low has two sides. <laughs> Uh, on Earth, Leroy has gathered all the experiments at the Aloha Stadium. The BRB 9000 appears and Hamsterville prepares to cl- uh, obliterate the experiments until Lilo, Stitch, and the others arrive just in time to destroy the ship's primary cannon. Wait, did we forget? <laughs> we skip over the part where Ruben stops making sandwiches and just suddenly becomes... He Stitch. becomes Stitch. He becomes yeah. Stitch. Yeah. He's, he's one experiment before Stitch. So he's got 99% of what Stitch had with not as much evil. He's more right. like a, but he's didn't, a New York deli guy. Didn't the previous, <laughs> the previous series and the Stitch has a glitch. All of everything that we've done up to this point is based on the premise that every creation has a specific and unique purpose. That's correct. And so and his is making sandwiches. Yeah, his was making sandwiches, and then all of a sudden, it's just like, yeah, we can all just kind of do the same thing. <laughs> but <laughs> right. it's true, and, and it's because Jumba is such a brilliant scientist. He just Maybe. programs them to be all destructive, and they have one particular thing because, like, he has he's if he were a really brilliant scientist, spoilers, 
he would put a self destruct mechanism in each of the in the Leroy, mm-hmm. which he did, which was mm-hmm. Aloha, Elvis, Aloha. Boy. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. <laughs> uh, plot device. Uh, so the hang destroys it. Hampshireville reveals that he brought along his Leroy army as backup. Whereupon an epic battle between them and the experiments begins. Despite epic. some initial victories by the experiments, the Leroy soon gain the upper hand. Jumbo remembers that he programmed a secret shutdown command in Leroy. If Elvis is Elvis Presley's Aloha Oi is played, he and his clones will deactivate. Stitch it's- appears on stage in his Elvis attire and performs Aloha Oi with Lilo and Ruben accompanying him, causing the Leroy's to have a violent seizures and shut down. It's with a his classic plan foiled again, Aloha versus Aloha tale. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> with his plan foiled again, Hamsterville is recaptured, sent back to prison. <sighs> and the end of the movie is back at the Galactic Alliance HQ. The team is honored by the Alliance once again. Stitch, Jumba, and Pleakley ask mm. to be allowed to return to Earth with Lilo. Hooray! Yay. The councilwoman grants this and asks Gantu if he would be reinstated as the captain of the Armada. Gantu agrees on the condition that Ruben is assigned as the galley officer. Back mm-hmm. on Earth, Lilo sets up for one last picture with as Myrtle arrives with Gigi, the dog thing. During the battle, Myrtle was astounded upon discovering Gigi's experiment was identity when she revealed her ability to talk. Lilo's last picture in the album is of all the experiments uh, still on Earth. Myrtle, Jumba, Pleakley, Nani, David, and herself in the film's final scene. Hamsterville's scene back in prison with Leroy Leroy (laughs) and his clones placed in separate cells surrounding his who have recovered from their seizures and begin dancing to jailhouse rock an appropriate ending. Yeah. And fun fact, as the credits roll, a full list of Jumba's experiments from 001 Shrink to 626 Stitch with their names as given by Lilo and other characters in some instances during Lilo and Stitch the series scroll along the left side of the screen. Mm. That's cute. I didn't well, watch most that far. <laughs> no, I, I didn't either. As soon as um, again, I turned the turned the thing off. I didn't even press stop. Um, <laughs> and most importantly, the characters learned that you have no choice. You you cannot have your dream and your family ever, mm-hmm. no matter what. Mm-hmm. It's impossible. Well, in this case, the dream is the family. The Aloha. The the Ohana. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The the (laughs) concept of, I mean, I I don't dislike the concept of Aloha, giving Aloha, receiving Aloha, the spirit, the karma of it all. I Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with it. It was Mm -hmm. just a a forced device to try to recreate the Ohana thing from the first movie. Yeah. Um, what, What I think I don't like about it is it was definitely made for television. And mm. I think that's its biggest problem. All the ones that we've watched that are made for television tend to be the worst. The ones yes. that they're attempting to make it a sequel, like Bambi 2, which was not bad for me. Mm, it was. Um, compared to this, I mean, it's just, they I tried to make it a sequel. I would rather watch Bambi 2 than this movie. Agreed. And we stopped with our little list ages uh, ago. Uh, our rankings. We'll have to bring them back. I Would I uh, rather... I would rather watch Bambi 2. But there, but there, it would... Be, I would seriously, I would be like, what's the third option? <laughs> uh, let's play. I have would you rather? Nails you can remove with pliers. <laughs> oh God, no! <laughs> let's play a game of Would You Rather. <laughs> All right, so that's the movie. Anybody else? Do you have anything else to say about it? No. Um, I guess I I am going to congratulate the creators of this movie i don't know if congratulates the right word but i guess give props to them for finding a formula and using those tools over and over again like that takes a little bit of skill you know instead of just like reinventing the wheel every time they took all of their characters same voices same actors and they were able to put something together that still works in the universe so like that takes skill i guess yeah, I mean, is, is but so does making even a formula a on an Excel spreadsheet, you know? Yeah, it is kind of, it feels like that. But, and doing but it's so a good creatively. Formula. Yeah, there's some fun elements. You know, Elvis in a Disney movie, like no one else mm-hmm, did it. Mm-hmm. And then, oh, it's, she She has this hobby of taking pictures. Like that, that continues yeah. to come into the movies. Yeah, that's true. So, you know, that, 
that's kind of cool. It's like making leftovers taste good again. Like you can't I, I just yeah. slap it all together. You got to like, yeah, but it's the Prepare same it. ingredients. I don't know. This is, this is, that's a good, that's a really good analogy, Audrey. Like, you know, you get pizza, pizza right. reheated, no matter how you do it. It's just not quite the same. Yeah. You know, very few leftovers are better left over. Agreed. To to re to like make a new di- like turkey turkey Thanksgiving dinner for example you can take never the, the same. you could take the turkey and make it into like turkey pho but it's still gonna yeah. be not as good as like an actual dish of pho like chicken pho or turkey pho but right <clears throat> but this is I don't know this in this form is kind of like that same turkey dinner like the night after like New Year's. With a little like, bit it, less stuffing and a little, and then there's no gravy because we ran out. You, yeah, you yeah. like you dust off the mold, and you're like, we still have these crackers. <laughs> mold. <nobody ate." laughs> yeah, because it's, it's Thanksgiving's in November, and I was this yeah, is January. I guess so. Oh, you're yeah. right. You're right. <clears throat> right. So no, I I think I think that at this point they are leaning. I mean, aside from this is a piece of crap movie, and we're we're talking about like how to maybe make it not so bad. Yeah. It, for my, for me, it's more, you lean, you lean less on some of the, you have some of the same things that you lean on, the ones that work, the ones that are purely character based, like Lilo being into photography and maybe, I don't know, you could maybe explore the relationship with her and her sister. That's got to be interesting. Um, and did it. Yeah, they, the, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, they did, didn't they? So, but, but anyway, there's that they, I think they lean too hard on the stuff that I think like the Aloha stuff, the Hawaii stuff at some point, if you're still focusing too much, I'm not saying get rid of it, but if you're focusing too much on it by movie four, it becomes like, Hey, ain't Hawaii a weird other place that (laughs) that is not at all normal for anybody. Right. Um, It also, I mean, as a ending, you sorry, keep going. No, no, I'm sorry. I, 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 the Elvis stuff, like mm-hmm. by by movie three or so, maybe just have a poster in the background. What if she you know? finds okay. like another artist that she learns to really love? Because music discovery is is really fun. It's fun to discover mm-hmm. new music. She should be into the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, so what I was gonna add is thinking of it as like Avengers Endgame. You know, this is a summation of the TV show and she found all of these like perfect niches for every single experiment. And the fact that they all have to fight in a war in the end is kind of like, well, what was the point of like finding us homes that caters to our abilities if you were just going to make us fight for you? You know, right? Um, I'd like to read a list of (laughs) restaurant names. Audrey was talking about pho. Mm-hmm. Oh. And for those of you who don't know, oh, no. pho is spelled P-H-O. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a Vietnamese soup. Delicious. Uh, I mean, I guess, I, guess, I guess I do have I'm gonna two get weeks some at this, today. so go for it. it. You know what I'm getting at. Uh-huh. Absolutely fabulous. Oh, boy. What it, the pho? Yeah. <laughs> pho, pho king. king delicious. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the pause. <laughs> pho nominal. Fa show. Fa ever yum. <laughs> fa shizzle. Oh. Fa oh. real. Hi. <laughs> fa Kim Long. Do we have to put a okay. cha-ching on okay. all of these? That one's good. No, he's 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 pausing it just well enough that we don't have to do that. All Simply right. fa you. And unforgettable. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Oh wait, oh, hold oh on. sorry. And last one. No, the matter. Because I was thinking about it as you guys were talking. I'm like, there's got to be a king of pho, right? Yeah, yeah. And sure enough, there's one. There's there's pho king down the street from me. One of my favorite places to get there pho. Actually, mm. uh, pho show. Um, critical reviews. Uh, Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> Received mixed reviews. Oh, you don't say. Wait, mixed? <laughs> <laughs> Review aggregator Rotten Tomatoes gave the film an approval rating of 40% with an average rating of 5.4 out of 10. Okay. Common Sense Media 
gave the film's quality four out of five stars and applicable for ages five above. Yeah, well, yeah, ten the, reviews. They're mainly the they're show. mainly rating on the appropriateness for. Children yeah, exactly. We use it from time to time to see if yeah. we, if if a movie's appropriate for our kids. And it never ah. is. I feel like a, a lot of the a lot of the reviews probably a lot of the positive reviews probably came from I have never seen a movie before. Oh my god, it is the <laughs> technology dot com. I've only seen pictures. Still, I've never seen the movie. Fascinating. <laughs> the other one was. I can't believe it. Is the train actually coming at me? And am I in danger? Of that <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> my nine-year-old comes into my office. You know, so we'll we'll watch. You know, I'm I'm showing the kids this year. You know, Ghostbusters and you know just movies that were classics, <laughs> Dumb and Dumber. You know that kind of stuff. Probably inappropriate for a nine-year-old, but whatever. It's harmless. My nine-year-old. We comes turned out fine. <laughs> yeah. It's Homer's favorite quote, or my fa- one of my favorites of Homer is like. I grew up watching TV and I turned out TV. <laughs> um, he comes in and he says, dad, am I old enough to watch Deadpool? I'm like, oh, no, no. <laughs> I will let you get away with so much, but that is, I mean, 18 son, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but God. I was like, you know, it's, it's really funny and you'll like it when you're older and you can appreciate it, but there's so much violence and there's so, I mean, the swears I don't really care about, but yeah, no. Hard pass, kid. I'm with you on that decision. I, All right. So as yeah, we I, yeah. watch the original Lilo and Stitch, we're not mm. watching this one. Uh, no, actually, so if we're going to watch Leroy and Stitch, we're going to drink Ohana Pacific American Blonde Ale from the Ohana Brewing Company. Pours a clear orange with a foamy bone-colored head that settles to a partial film on top of the beer. Mm. Small streaks of lace form around the glass on the drink down. Smell is of malt, grain, and some subdued grassy aromas. Taste is much the same with the grassy and vegetal flavors in the finish. There's a mild amount of hop bitterness on the palate with each sip. This beer has a lower level of carbonation with a slightly crisp mouthfeel. Overall, this is an above average beer that is drinkable, but not something I would go after again. That is how I would describe this movie. Drinkable. That's... When Is I try to, when I try to find beers, I try to find the description that kind of sums up the movie. It's drinkable, but not something I would go after again. How do you find your beers? Now I'm curious. Do you put in like those kinds of words into a search, or do you search for I beer? I do almost Hawaiian? exclusively because the 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 original idea reminder listener when Dan and I used to rent these movies, and we'd go to the store and we'd try to find a beer that made sense for it. For example, Superman. Budweiser, mm-hmm. mm. uh, Cinderella 2, I don't know, Zima, Zima whatever. Yeah, m- whatever makes <laughs> sense. So we r- I ran out of those like episode three. Yeah. So now what I literally do is I search the title of the movie and beer. Oh, okay. <laughs> and every time I get, I get something. <laughs> is it usually the <laughs> first thing that pops up or do you scroll through a couple to find I one? Scroll. That- yeah, cool. I scroll. Yeah, I scroll. And how I found Ohana Beer Company was because I found a Lilo and Stitch drinking game. Oh, yeah. Oh. You were going to tell us so about that. So that's this. how – first, you have to have a bunch of Ohana beer, but while you're watching Lilo and Stitch, the original movie, you drink when someone says Lilo. Oh, God. Drink when someone says Experiment 626 or 626. Mm-hmm. You drink when Stitch growls or laughs. Oh, oh boy. And God. you drink when someone is swimming. Do not play this game if you all your life. When Drink someone is twice, swimming. Remember back to Lilo and Stitch. The first movie, there's a lot of swimming. Yes, that, that, that's what I'm talking about. Got it. Drink twice when a song begins. Oh. Drink twice when you hear alien language. <laughs> and drink twice when the fat guy drops his ice cream. Oh, awesome. And if the other people, if you're the last one of the group... Still w- watching this movie while the others are passed out from alcohol poisoning, just chug a whole beer. <laughs> you burned it. <laughs> you, right. You're the winner. <laughs> and yep, to, your you liver know, can take it. <laughs> pad your stomach from the alcoholic. Uh, oh, al- uh, to pad your stomach from all the alcohol you just consumed, you're going to have delicious and nutritious red vines. Why red vines, <laughs> you ask? Well, red vines, I hate red vines, but every time someone offers them to me, I'm like, maybe this is the time I try them and I'll like them. Uh, and it's always not the case. Like, I always still hate them. So uh, 
It's a lesson that I keep having to learn because I'm too stupid to remember that I hate red vines. Is that describing this show? Uh, <laughs> describing this movie. Maybe it's, this will be the. Th- no, maybe no. this will be the movie that I like. This is this. I mean, it's Lilo. It, it's a it's a, a mirror to the characters learning the same lesson over and over again. They learn, ah, you know, that yeah. family is the most important, and, uh, and yeah. aloha. And aloha. And the fact that they forget that within five minutes of the movie starting, it's just like, oh my God, not this again. Yeah. So. Yeah. I thought you were going to say it's because Leroy's red. Mm. And that too, you know? There you go. That's appropriate. Perfect. Good analogy, Audrey. <laughs> I don't you. know if, it, if if it's just me, but I did see a connection visually between Leroy slightly and the alien that Stitch replaced at Alien Encounter. I felt like there's a little bit of a nod there. Or mm, I could just be maybe I mean, it was just my, I was Probably bored full trying to find connections. Probably yeah. full coincidence. Um, also, um, going back to a drinking game, uh, I don't know if I've shared this on the show, but uh, some friends and I, oh, some time ago, created a game called Monstrosity, where it's Monopoly, and you all you do is introduce the possibility that drinking is a form of payment. And you start with five hundred dollars and nothing, nothing else, and wow. then you just let it figure itself out, and that's why it's called monstrosity because it gets so, worse and worse and worse. Like if I want to buy Boardwalk, I have to drink a whole beer, kind of thing. It's a, it's negotiation. Oh, it's boy. all about negotiation. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, That'd and be fun. and because because there's because you can't negotiate with the bank because it's a non-entity you start by shuffling all the properties so you all start with okay. property mm. <laughs> Ellen, you have to negotiate to make a monopoly yes that's so- <laughs> um, that would be fun it's, it, it, it was it and it's called monstrosity for a reason <laughs> mm-hmm. did you do you remember i think it was like a 21st birthday thing or whatever where <clears throat> you drink a shot of beer every minute for 60 minutes oh my god uh, Which six, seems it's easy. It's a power hour. That's what yeah. they call those or something. <clears throat> I'm, so, I'm so glad. That. I'm so glad I'm out of a period of my life where that sounded fun. Yeah. Uh, anyway, and, 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 and what are we listening to? I also want to thank you both for for not accusing me of being an alien, as I thought you might be, because there's no, no. evidence to support that I might be. Anyway, um, moving Except on. that you brought it up. What's that crop circle behind you? <laughs> it's a crop circle it's my garden <laughs> um this is how humans th- this is how i garden um uh, anyway <laughs> Human, I, I mean. <laughs> uh right so i i kind of have a double header one is the actual one and then the other is i just want to have a treat with jimmy and i and i think you know you might remember you might know where this is going jimmy based on the opening uh anyway i think th- i do here's our actual selection Melakaliki this Mokali. is a little someone who uh his name is larry the cable guy and it's oh, a song yes. called i pissed my pants i pissed my pants the toilet was just too far oh, i God. drunk too much i mean man, bear. you could watch I the whole movie to hold it in, but my just listen to this just and, in, like, and that's basically right it through my drawers right <laughs> through my wrangler drawers i pissed yep. i uh, pissed yeah. this right man is a billionaire early. Yeah, he really is <laughs> too early <laughs> For that's Christmas funny. music. So that was the that's the one. So that's the, listen to that's that song or watch one. Leroy and Stitch. Right, and it's because this is a Disney Parks adjacent podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have this. Once upon Are a we- time. Hey, Audrey, <laughs> remember the Tiki Room? Yeah. Yes. Is this? Are we on a ride right now? Oh no, we are waiting in the Tiki Gardens, oh. watching a. Flickery Hawaii Super 8 action, <laughs> millions of years film ago. strip Still about Hawaii today, and <laughs> produce the rich soil. pineapples. It was the volcano. It was the sound of a volcano. Yeah, yeah. And I, yeah. Uh oh, I drank too much cough syrup again. Its rugged landscape yep. is a reminder This was going to be our entire art. Easter egg, but I was like, I think it might get struck for copyright issues, so if yeah. we talk over <laughs> it occasionally. Talk over it. Yeah. And this is just, 
It's always springtime in Hawaii. It is yes. always. With a yeah. rainbow of colors continually in bloom. Mm. We should go. Let's go to Hawaii. The beauty I of agree. These islands so anytime. close to San Diego. It's not, yeah. but it's closer than it's Georgia. It's further. <laughs> basically drive. Um, <laughs> I wonder if they can build that tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he's going to talk about pineapple. I One would hope so. Can enjoy too. Pineapple. <gasps> oh. The flavor of Hawaii. The flavor. Um, I wonder if Kamehameha anybody can get it. Dan, are you getting like PTSD from Head improv suggestions? Because pineapple always comes up. The sun, <laughs> surf, no, my trick is I always ignored the suggestion. But Dan, can anybody get it? Good trick. Pineapple? I'm not sure. I wonder if they'll cover that. Huh. Yeah, I mean, if you're on a team with... Welcome to uh, uh, Improv Talk with uh, Audrey and Dan. If you're hey. on a team and you Certainly. know that Once reserved only people on oil. your team generally will listen to the suggestion, the you can ignore it. Perhaps one of the most dangerous. Yeah, just trust your teammates to do the work for you. 100%. You don't have to listen or, or you know, pay attention. They're going <laughs> to do all the hard work. You just have to show up. Yeah. And then every once in a while, you just come in and completely change the scene. Yeah. Yes. Ignore oh, that, everything that, that they've done. And that done. shows... Yes. Yeah. That shows that you're the the better improver. That's on right. Yeah, I can tell. I've yeah. watched your guys' teams before. <laughs> because instead of like using what people are giving you, you just invent it, and that's more right. challenging anyway. Well, because you, I mean, let's be honest. You probably do have the better idea. <laughs> yeah, that's right. everyone else is an idiot, and why you're even bothering to show up with them is well, kind of funny. Of but you know, <laughs> gets you out of the house. Pineapple. <laughs> yeah. and, harvest and the best hand. is when, when uh, uh, you know, if you're not sure what to do and you're like, oh, God, I haven't contributed anything to this and yet and I probably and should. And they haven't established where they are. You just you could just show up and establish that they're at an olive garden and the, it's closed. Especially if they've established the that they're like on a boat or, you know, in the middle of, they're on the right. Himalayan Dan's mountain range. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Then it's, then it's the, the only or, Olive Garden on, they've on already, Everest. Yeah. They've already said they're in a Red Lobster and you're just like, oh, right. at the Olive Garden. So that's. Yeah. Right. Or if you, if you are, <laughs> if you're on the wings watching a, a improv scene where they establish that they're in a restaurant you can grab another person mm-hmm. and 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 jump on to a cutscene where you're like the wait the the, 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 the kitchen Pukilau, staff, or just yeah. a family and having kind of a side Flavor conversation and kind of halfway noticing forms. what's going on with the other people. Really but Dan, you just said so if they're rare, on the wings, then clearly they're on an airplane, Pineapple not an Olive Garden. See, that's good improv right there. That's beautiful. That's so good. Symbol of hospitality around the world. Uh, we should coach improv. <laughs> totally. Or just listen to this podcast. Right. <laughs> so we have other shows on the network. Uh, Supreme Resort in July will have a crossover event with but Scraping the Vault. The we'll review what? Isn't that reserved for the nobility? The beauty of Hawaii. The royalty? The like Hawaii. pineapple? Those other shows? Like, like I, I conflated it. It was actually um, surfing. Oh, that was reserved I'm sorry. Once for mm. My bad. You were telling us about improv when that came up. Um, so, the yeah, other shows. Yeah, so we're going to do a crossover event, once reserved for royalty. Now anyone can do it. Um, Haunted Mansion. Um, we have, there's ears up and whatever else. But anyway, oh, and the puny pod and Bantha Milk and stuff. So listen to those if you're interested in any of those things. Uh, rate and review our show. It's been a minute since we've gotten a review. Hopefully you still like it. Uh, but tell us what you think. Tell us what you want to hear, like Sarah Present. Am I allowed to say your last name? Um, well, we can she gave us the gift of Mamma Mia. Okay, Thank present. you. Get it. Yeah. Ah! Got it. Um, yeah, rate and review and concierge are great. Yeah. That's it. 856 hours. <laughs> every t- and I can tell you, uh, every time I go to Disneyland and stay at a hotel, I book through concierge. There you go. Me too. Um, 856 hours. Are we ready for saying goodbye? Sure. You mean aloha? Hold on. Oh, I mean aloha. Hold on a second. I gotta go straight to video Disney. Be oh, kind what we're doing and next? Aloha. Nah, it doesn't work. Ooh. Be kind and rewind. We have to say that. Mm-hmm. Finish your drink if the hosts say their catchphrase. <laughs>
if the host re- reference how, how you were probably not listening to the show anymore, drink twice. <laughs> uh, yeah. Blink Wait, they're not three times so if you need assistance. <laughs> I never learned Morse code, oh, spot, but I could figure it out. A, if you spot a segment of the show that you think to yourself, why didn't the, the one who edits this edit that part out? Drink three times. And you're, <laughs> and you're welcome. Uh, yeah, so Leroy and Stitch and then uh, Brother Bear 2. Ah. And then as teased earlier, Fox and the Hound 2 both came out in 2006. Are we feeling like a uh, live action movie might be in our near future? Yeah, Haunted Mansion. Oh, that's right. Okay. I think I'm Haunted s- Mansion, then we do Brother Bear 2, then we can go back to like the well, next Haunted one. Haunted Mansion is July. This right. We still have... Ju- oh, we are, this we is June. are June. Oh, yeah. sweet. So, okay. live action film, straight video, honey, we shrunk ourselves. Ugh. No, but we're doing the live action remakes. Never yeah, mind. yeah, yeah. All right. Well, that's it, everybody. To look forward to, I think I'll do a better job with my notes next time. And uh, perfect. Until fine. next time, be, be kind. good to each other. Oh, sorry. Be good. Yeah, be good, good to each other. Yeah. And be, be kind. kind. Be kind. And, and rewind. rewind. around the world.